what is up guys so we finally got the new exhaust here uh, we're gonna get this opened up and installed give you guys just a short video of it HMF full system so first thing we're gonna have to do is remove uh, this one the uh, the header is a spare one I had but the pipe belongs to this girl so we're gonna get that put back on this one so this girl's ready to go that's pretty much all she needs for now um like i said in previous videos she is gonna need a frame swap soon but we're gonna uh, hold off on that just for a little bit longer um because the new bike's ready to race so i think i can just keep that one for practice maybe run that at the Wynoa series we'll see um but right now we're gonna get this new pipe on and uh that's it so stay tuned guys guys so we got the old exhaust off as you can see I got all my parts laid out so this is the HMF uh, full performance series actually I'm not even sure if it's performance or competition um, I want to say it's competition but it's a blacked out version of it uh, with the blue shell so it definitely uh, stands out versus you know their normal ones um, so we're going to get this thing mounted up. I'm going to show you guys in real time. First I'm going to start with the header. Get the header in here loosely. And if you guys are just doing this for the first time, maybe on an older bike, this is new. Um, so this gasket is brand new. But um, if you're removing a stock exhaust system and it's your first exhaust system putting on, I'd recommend changing the O-ring in here. This one is a little different than the ones you guys will see, but this is the one I use. So you want to put a new one of those in there so you get a nice tight seal on the header. Let me just get this on there like so. Now I'm not going to tighten these all the way, I'm just going to get them snug so I can move the header around. Um, this way I can get the muffler on. And bolt it up and then once that's good I'll go back and tighten these up all the way and then uh, once I do start it and it heats up I'll go back and just double check these to make sure they're tight pretty straightforward though I'm sure most of you guys have done this not a whole lot to it That's pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the muffler, get my clamp. All right, so one thing I can tell you guys is with running uh, an aftermarket revalve shock and a link, I need to space this out more than what HMF gives you for, for spaces. So HMF gives you one of these. To clear my spring, I need to run two. But that's just for my application. Uh, if, all, if, you're, if you guys are running all stock suspension and all that, then you should be fine. But just note, if you do have an aftermarket shock, you may have to space this out a touch more because the spring will rub on the header. Um, and eventually it will put a hole in the header so you do not want that because it's a nice new exhaust and you always want to keep it that way 
And look how great HMF is. They include an Allen wrench. So that's pretty cool. So now we will go back. I got this loose, loosely in place. Looks pretty good. So I'm going to go and uh, I'm going to tighten these bolts first. And then I'll go back and do the header. And I will also double check that the spring does not hit my header. I know on the last one I had it didn't. Um, I usually always run two and that works for me. But looking at that, that's all the way in. So yeah, I got probably a good eighth of an inch of clearance in there, which is just enough. Guys, you also are going to want to tighten down these bolts on here. These do not come tight. They're just snug, so once you get everything installed, you're going to want to tighten these up too. And just give these a couple turns. This is a, an additional adjustment. Um, to slide the forward back or forward more if you need to but right where it was was pretty much good so those are tight these are tight now we're going to tighten up the header That's pretty good on that. And now we're going to tighten up the clamp on the muffler. So that's all tight. Now I'm going to just put on my, put the stock heat shield back on, which also is a nice touch with this system. Helps keep your uh, boot and pants from burning. Definitely a nice feature. Also adds a good, you know, factory look to it versus just a straight header coming out there. Another uh, nice touch by HMF. Unfortunately, these bolts are old. I'll probably get some new ones eventually. But these, unfortunately, are not new. So they look a little... I mean, they don't look horrible, but... They're not as shiny as the rest of the quad. But I think I'll be alright with them. A couple races and this thing's gonna look... Uh, it's gonna look used and abused, so I'm not too worried about it. That's why I built it. So that's that. She's all mounted up. I'm just gonna put the back plastics back on, and then we'll give her uh, give her a nice start up. All right, so she is done. Like you know, very quick. 
10 minute job you know 15 maybe with removing the old, your old exhaust but very quick very simple Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Throw me a like on this video and shoot me a comment if you have any questions. Or if you want to see something in particular, I'd be happy to do a video on it. Alright, we'll catch you on the next video guys. Peace. For a distant star Don't stop now Isn't it strange to how we're safe and home? To the deck out and days until the second go If you're gonna break those shades You have to let me know Turn the shit around Just out of top of the notes Cause all you need to do